days of waste ending up at a landfill site may be over because some of it might end up here and you waste to energy plant that intends to put garbage to good use. The New Horizons energy plant is expected to produce over 45% of the city's total gas needs. It's also a first in many ways. The city of Cape Town generates roughly 8,000 tons of waste a day. This facility will divert roughly 170,000 tons per annum from landfill site through this facility. Um, from, a, from a scope and a quantum point of view, this was roughly 500 million rand, just short of 500 million rand capital investment. Um, took us roughly seven years to bring it about. Um, it will be the largest biogas plant on the African continent and also the first bio CNG plant on the African continent. The city has a massive problem with overcapacity at landfill sites. They now intend to channel much of the junk over time to this new facility. The biogas plant will derive 50% of its revenue from selling recycled refuse fuel. The other half will come from its gas digestion facility. The AD section, the anaerobic digestion section, creates biogas in a natural biological process which we then clean that biogas up, we separate the methane from the CO2 and we sell these as industrial gases. We're also very honoured... The investment is also a major endorsement of the local renewable energy sector and also a boost for the city's plan to grow the green economy. The city now has at least got an alternative for the food waste. The food waste is what's creating the the, the gases in the landfill, so at least if we divert that here, we don't have that problem on the landfills anymore. No, at least. For now though, the waste that has clogged up so many landfill sites is finally going to get put to good use. To create the energy that is sustainable, clean and in so much abundance. Around 5% of the city's waste will be converted to gas, but as the plant expands, so will that figure. Relieving strain on landfill sites. Rafael Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.